Now we will discuss about the bag of the fora. In this section, we will discuss about the muscle, vessels, and nerve of the bag of the fora. First of all, we will discuss about the muscles of the bag of the fora. There are 12 muscles. 12 muscles present in the back of the forearm. These 12 muscles are arranged into 5 deep group plus 7 superficial. So there are 5 deep muscles and 7 superficial muscles. And these 7 superficial muscles are again divided into 2 groups. 3 lateral group and four posterior group. So first of all, we'll discuss about the the five deep muscles of this back of the forearm. These five muscles are first of all supinator. First muscle is supinator. It will discuss supinator. In this diagram. You can see this is here is position of angular ligament. This is angular ligament. Here is position of radial collector ligament. This is a radial collector ligament. This is radial collector ligament. radial collateral ligament. Here is angular ligament. This is angular ligament. Angular ligament. This is angular ligament. Here is position of supinator crest. This is position of supinator crest. This is supinator crest area. Here is a crest. So there is supinator crest and triangular area above the supinator crest. So these sides of the these sides are the sides of the origin of supinator muscle. So supinator muscle takes origin from radial collateral ligament. Some fibers arise from radial collateral ligament here, and the ligament and supinator crest, and also area over this supinator crest, triangular area over the supinator crest. So these sides are the origin of the Subventor muscle. This muscle inserted on the this muscle passes the lateral side like this. And inserted on posterior surface, lateral surface, and anterior surface of the upper one third part of the radius like this. If you cut a section at this level, you will find it looks like here is position of ulna. This is position of ulna. Here. Here is position of radial tuberosity. This is radial tuberosity. This muscle here is supinator crest. This is supinator crest. So it arises from supinator crest and adjacent part of this. This muscle covers this radius. So it is attached on the posterior aspect, lateral aspect, and anterior aspect of the upper one third of the radius. This is supinator. Action of this muscle is as its name suggests, supination. This is pronation, this is supination. So it is supinator at radio ulnar joint. Nerve supply, this supinator is pierced by the radial nerve and is supplied by posterior interosseous branch of radial nerve. So it has superficial part the part arises from here, 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 this is a superficial part, 
and this part which arises from subtracheus deep part between these two part this nerve this is posterior interosseous nerve this is actually branch of a posterior division of this radial nerve as you know in pubertal fossa lateral most structure is radial nerve and this radial nerve here it passes through the supinator before passing the supinator it divides into superficial and deep branch so this is deep branch which is known as posterior interosseous nerve because this nerve passes deep to or the posterior to this interosseous membrane here lies interosseous membrane so this is supplied by posterior interosseous nerve and the muscle and the muscle is extensor carpi sorry extensor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis then next is abductor pollicis longus and extensor indices so supinator extensor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis abductor pollicis longus and extensor indices so these muscles are the muscles of the deep group of this this compartment posterior and back of the forearm so one muscle you have seen that it's supinator this supinator this psy posterior interosseous nerve and the muscle and the muscle is abductor pollicis longus here is position of abductor pollicis longus this muscle it takes origin from you can see here it takes origin from interosseous membrane here is posterior surface of upper part of this ulna this is middle one third of the radius posterior surface so this muscle takes origin from here and this is tendon of this muscle it is inserted here on the lateral of the lateral side of the base of the first metacarpal this is abductor pollicis longus it is abductor at metacarpo sorry at carpo metacarpal joint nerve supply is again is supplied by this posterior interosseous nerve which is a branch of deep branch of radial nerve and the muscle is extensor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis and the muscle extensor pollicis brevis this muscle arises from here this area this is area below the posterior surface uh, present and posterior surface below the uh, this origin of abductor pollicis longus this this is extensor pollicis brevis this is extensor pollicis brevis here is abductor pollicis longus this is inserted on posterior surface of this base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb this is extensor pollicis brevis and the muscle that is it lies here on the posterior surface of this ulna about between one third and adjacent part of the interosseous membrane and posterior surface here here is tubercle is present that is known as lister tubercle this is lister tubercle so this tendon this is extensor pollicis longus 
it passes lateral to this distal tubercle and inserted on the base of dorsal surface of distal phalanx of the thumb. This is extensor pollicis longus. This is extensor pollicis longus. Axon is extension at the distal interferon joint. This is extensor pollicis brevis, extensor at metacarpophalangeal joint. Nerve supply is posterior introsseous nerve. And the muscle that is it lies here in the lower part of the posterior surface of the ulna and adjoining part of the introsseous membrane. This muscle is extensor indices. This is extensor indices and this, this is ligament of the extensor indices. It joins with the Sorry, this is tendon of the uh, sorry, this is tendon of the extensor indices and it joins with here is extensor digitorum, which is a another muscle, this is which lies in superficial plane. This is extensor digitorum, this muscle. This is extensor digitorum, which has four tendons for these four fingers on medial side at the level of proximal phalanx these tendons divide into lateral slip two lateral slips here there are two lateral slip and one is central slip this central slip is inserted on the base of the middle phalanx this is inserted on base of middle phalanx and these two slips lateral slips joint with each other and inserted on the base of the distal phalanx like this. So these two slips unite and inserted on base of distal phalanx on dorsal aspect and this central slip inserted on the base of middle phalanx. So this is extensor indices. This extensor indices joined with the tendon of extensor digitorum. So this is tendon of extensor digitorum this is tendon of extensor digitorum. This tendon is present in index tendon. So it joins with the this tendon on the medial side. This is extensor indices. Action of this is the same. After joining this, its action is same like the action of the extensor digitorum. That means extensor at proximal and distal interphalangeal joint. Nerve supply is same. Nerve supply is posterior introsseous nerve. Posterior introsseous nerve. So this is all about the five deep muscle of this. Five deep muscle of the extensive compartment of the forearm. Thank you.